Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm smiling, but I'm really like crying inside, but then I'm still smiling and I'm happy and I'm feeling accomplished. I have a whole range of emotions going on right now, okay? Y'all, this is my very first ever declutter video. Like, this is crazy. Now, I've decluttered, I'm not gonna say decluttered, but I've gotten rid of fragrances before, like giving them to friends and family, giving them to my mother, you know what I mean? But this is kind of epic. This is kind of a big deal because it's a lot of fragrances right here. Like, honestly, y'all are gonna be like, oh, gasping and everything. Like, it's this is crazy. But we are gonna get through this because I don't wanna have any fragrances in my collection that I am not obsessed with, okay? Now, in saying that, let me say this. For the people who watch my videos, all of my videos, you never comment, you never like, because you probably don't even really like me, but you will always make a statement or try to call somebody out on something. Now, a few years ago, not a few, but two years ago, I said on my channel that you're not gonna see a bunch of declutters on my channel because everything that I have, I love. And I wasn't lying. You're not gonna ever see a bunch of declutters on my channel. I'm not a shopper, declutterer, receive PR, declutter. Like, I don't do that. I don't buy right away. I don't fall into the hype. I'm not trying to build my collection. I'm satisfied with my collection. And it's just that sometimes, you know, where I was in 2019 or in 2020, I'm no longer there when it comes to fragrances. What used to make my heart sing a couple of years ago, it's no longer making my heart sing and that is okay. But you still would not see me doing a haul this week and a declutter the next week. That's not what I do. But this has been a long time coming, okay? Like I said, I want to be obsessed with all of my fragrances. And if somebody else can be obsessed with these fragrances and they can go to a home that will love them, appreciate them, and wear them, then that's what I want. So if you wanna see this epic, super epic declutter, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. I do respond. And also, make sure you're subscribed. Okay, it's not gonna take nothing out of you. It ain't taking nothing out of your day. It's free. Okay, free 99. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Now let's get into this epic declutter. And for you guys that's here for me and you just love and support me, I'm so sorry I had to put out that disclaimer, but people be trying this sometimes, okay? And sometimes you gotta let them know, try me not, okay? Cause they be the first ones to be like, cause you said, you said, you said, <laughs> and did, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but anyway, all right, y'all, this is, I'm just stalling, okay? I'm just stalling because I'm a little bit, I'm just looking at my bottles and I'm like, but I had a memory with you, I love you, like we're here, but you know what, they gotta go. It is what it is. So the first one on the list is by, hear me out. <laughs> a lot of these fragrances I don't even wear, so I don't even really know the name without having to look at it. So this is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. And I did love this fragrance in 2020 because I was just on this coconut kick. And looking at my, like, not my list, but looking at all these fragrances here, I can tell the kicks that I was on. And when I get on a kick, the kicks are kicking. And then I just want all the fragrances with that scent profile. So this is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. It's a very citrusy, coconutty, beachy, beach vibes type of fragrance. It smells really pretty, y'all. It smells really good. And you know what I said to myself? Don't get on that camera, smell these fragrances, and change your mind. You're going to stick to the script, and we're going to stick to the script. But it does smell good. It does smell really good. I mean, all these fragrances smell good, or else I wouldn't have bought them. But I just don't need it. You know what I mean? I have so many other coconut fragrances or beachy, citrusy coconut fragrances in my collection that I reach for that I don't reach for this one. I mean, look at this. Like, it looks damn near brand new. It smells so good, though, y'all. She does smell good, but you know what? She got to go. So Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. I was about to say Elizabeth Arden. Chum. Next up on the list, My Way by Armani. Another one that the dent is like not really denting. I've worn this fragrance a few times and I do love it because I do love a bubblegummy tuberose, but I don't need it in my collection because I have Prada Paradox. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. 
Not that Paradox is a super unique trailblazing fragrance, but it just does something to me that this one just doesn't. This one is lacking something, but it is a pretty scent. So it will be sold. So My Way by Giorgio Armani. Next one on the list, Ebony Woods by Zara and Joe Malone. I purchased this because y'all been asking me for an affordable fragrance video. So I needed to have some affordable fragrances in my collection, so I went out and purchased this one. This does smell good. It smells good, but I don't wear it. Like I haven't worn it since I did that video last year. So yeah, it needs to go. I wore it one time and that's one time's worth of a spray. It does smell really good, but I mean, I have other fragrances in my collection that smell better. So I'm not gonna reach for this one. So this is Ebony Woods by Zara. She gotta go. Whew. This one right here. All right, this one is my second bottle ever in life. This is my first Tom Ford fragrance, not this bottle. This is my second bottle, but Black Opium was my first ever Tom Ford fragrance. You could not tell me I was in one of the rich it girls when I had this fragrance. <laughs> when I wore this fragrance, you couldn't tell me I wasn't that girl because Tom Ford fragrances for me symbolized you've made it. Like this is your pinnacle of fragrances. I didn't know anything about niche fragrances or anything like that when I got this, you know, when I got put on to this fragrance, but I'm so over this now. It just reminds me of an era in my life that I just don't want to be reminded of anymore. It reminds me of dates that I've been on that I don't want to be <laughs> remembering anymore. Like it just reminds me of just things that I don't really want to remember. And you know, it's, it had its run. All right. Like it had its run. It made its mark in my life, and now it's time for Black Opium to go. The bottle is super sleek and sexy. Um, yeah, I have no need for this in my collection anymore. So Black Opium by Tom Ford, she gotta go. <laughs> All right, this fragrance right here. Now, this is a really pretty scent. This is Prada, what is this? Prada La Femme. <laughs> Y'all, Prada La Femme. Now, this is a tuberose fragrance. It's one of the times when I was on my tuberose kick. But this is like a tuberose, like soapy. Now, if I were in a corporate work setting, like if I worked in an office with other people and I wanted to smell really pretty going to work, but I didn't want anything that was offensive. I didn't want anybody to, you know, be too captivated with my scent. I don't want to go smelling sexy at work, but I want to smell good and clean. You know what I mean? Then I would have this in my collection, but I'm not in that life. So there's no need for this in my collection. It does smell good, but honestly, it's just, it smells good, but it's just nothing to it. It's a little boring. <laughs> And if you own this fragrance, please do not take offense to me saying it's boring because I'm sure I still have a lot of fragrances in my collection that you would consider boring or whack or whatever. But to me, this just doesn't do anything for me anymore. However, it is a pretty scent. It has beeswax, it has tuberose and ylang ylang. So if you like those type of scents, you will absolutely love this. Like I said, I feel like it's a pretty spring fragrance. It's a pretty fragrance for someone that works in an environment with a lot of people. You don't wanna be offensive with your scent. See, I'm just different. Like, I wanna offend you with my fragrance. Like, I want you to be like, damn girl, you smell sexy, you smell good. I smelled you all the way down the hall. That's what I want. This isn't giving me that. So Prada La Femme, you gotta go. Okay, y'all, this fragrance right here, Dolce Shine by Dolce & Gabbana. This fragrance, I wanted a mango fragrance. I was on a mango kick. And anything that had mango in it, I was getting it, okay? So I got this fragrance because, you know, you do kind of smell the mango. It's like a floral, floral mango fragrance. But it's just something in here that smells like soap. Something in the dry down of this fragrance that smells like soap. And I tell you guys all the time, like me personally, I don't like smelling like soap. I don't even like my soap to smell like soap. On a rare, rare, rare occasion, I may want to smell fresh and clean, but not necessarily soapy. So this fragrance right here, it gives me like a mango soapy vibe on my skin. You might not get that on your skin. We're all different. But on my skin, it gives me like a mango soapy vibe. And it's not bad, but it's not good. 
So, yeah, Dolce Shine, it's time for her to go. Keeping in the theme of Dolce, we have Dolce Garden. Y'all, I loved this fragrance so much at one point. It's a floral coconut fragrance. It just smells like coconuts surrounded by florals. It smells nice, but honestly, like... It just doesn't do anything for me anymore. The bottle is cute. You know, I used to love, 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 love this Dolce Garden line. Um, I've had all of them for so many years, but I just feel like I've outgrown this kind of scent. And it just doesn't do anything for me anymore. And I have so many easy reaches, so many fragrances that I'll wear to run errands or, you know, do whatever. So I don't need 50,001 easy reach fragrances. And for me, this is an easy reach. It is pretty. Like I said, it's coconutty, it's creamy, it's floral. It just doesn't do anything for me right now. <laughs> so Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana, you gotta go. <laughs> Y'all, this is so much fun. This is like freeing and liberating now let's get to some of this other stuff over here because i got some niche fragrances too i have one two three four five niche fragrances they gotta go let's start with this one right here <laughs> y'all pulp by byredo when i first smelled this fragrance the obsession was so real like initially in Bergdorf, I got this fragrance from Bergdorf Goodman and I smelled it at the counter and I was like, oh my goodness, it's different, it's unique. I need this, like I need it now because I just wanted to smell very different and very unique at the time. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> now this is a little bit too unique for your girl, <laughs> a little bit too different. It's a beautiful scent, it's very artistic, it's very... You can tell that this is art in a bottle, okay? But I just don't wanna smell like this anymore. Like, I've worn it a couple of times. It has a fig note in it. I also wanted everything with fig and everything just green and just different. But it's just, it just doesn't work for me anymore. I'm not gonna make excuses for you, okay? I don't care how cute this little bottle is. And Denise Adore, this bottle is very cute, okay? It's the small one. So it's cute, it's cute to me. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, no. Pulp by Byredo, I'm not wearing her. Um, I love my other Byredo fragrances, Balja Freak, um, Sundazed, Rose of No Man's Land, 11th Hour, I love that, I will never get rid of it. That's also a very different and unique fragrance, but that one just gels with my chemistry a little bit more. Pulp, you gotta go. Now, All right, let's just take it. Let's just take it here. All right, one, two, three. So we have three from Gucci. I've come to the realization that Gucci fragrances, they just don't really work for me. I have Gucci Guilty Absolute that I love. I will never get rid of that. I will always have that. I'm obsessed with that scent, okay? And maybe another one, Possibly, I think I have another Gucci fragrance left because I gave all of them away <laughs> to friends and family and my mother. But then I had these three. And I feel like y'all gonna be surprised, okay? It's the whole Gucci Bloom range, all right? So I have Gucci Bloom Ambrosia Di Fiori. She gotta go. Gucci Bloom Aqua Di Fiori. She gotta go. And the original Don Dada Gucci Bloom. She gotta go. I told y'all in my recent spring video that this fragrance, I used to be obsessed with it. I used to love it so much. But the tuberose doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> y'all, it's something about tuberose that I don't know. And I do love the tuberose because I love tuberose in my Killian fragrances. I love my tuberose in my Armani fragrance. But it's just some tuberose is just not, oh, and my memo, my memo Marfa, love that tuberose as well. But it's something about the Rangoon Creeper, the Jasmine, and the tuberose in this fragrance that just doesn't agree with me anymore. And I feel like when I smell it, it smells very, It's very mature smelling and I'm very mature <laughs> like let's not get it twisted but 
she a little bit more mature than I am, if that makes any sense. It just doesn't do it for me anymore. And the bottle is so freaking cute, y'all. Like, I want to keep this just for the bottle, but I'm not going to do that. But Gucci Bloom, the original Don Dada, I do not wear her. I did not wear her at all, like at all last summer or spring. No, I may have picked her up one time. I did wear her one time and I was just like, you know when you wear a fragrance and you like, you don't feel your best. Like you don't feel like I'm that, mm. I want to feel like I'm that mm, in my fragrances. And I wasn't feeling that with this fragrance. So somebody else is going to get this and they're going to feel like they're on top of the world wearing this fragrance me on the other hand i'm over her gucci bloom you gotta go and i'm blaming the tuberose as you can see a lot of these fragrances have tuberose y'all like the prada the uh armani like it's something in tuberose and me where we just not getting along right now it's just not happening so this one is the aqua di fiori it smells just like the original but it has a green note and there was another time in my life where i wanted to smell everything that smelled green for some reason so i was like yo this is everything like green and tuberose sign me up y'all now no no the green and the tuberose just do not mix not for me it may mix for you and that's not a bad thing but for me it's just it's a no for me so yeah gucci bloom aqua di fiori you gotta go y'all why am i so turned up right now okay so the last one i thought i was gonna love this one because it has a rose note and a tuba rose note and it kind of smells like the original, but it smells a little sweeter. So I did wear this a little bit more than the original, but that strong tuberose just be fighting. And it's fighting every other note in this fragrance. And it's something with the tuberose in me right now that I just, I just can't. Not in these fragrances right here. So this one, Gucci Bloom, Ambrosia de Fiori, she gotta go. All right. Oh, child, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, so the next one, it's a Killian fragrance, y'all. And I have no qualms about it, okay? It was a gift from Bay. He understands that I cannot wear this. This is Roses on Ice by Killian. If y'all notice, I have never, ever had this in a video, maybe in a haul, or you've probably seen it like in a fragrance collection video, but I've never worn this fragrance ever in my life. I put it on my skin and I tried. I tried and I tried, but it just wasn't working. Y'all, this smells fishy on my skin. Like what? Where is the roses? Where is the ice? Where is that crispy, rosy drink smell? Yeah, no, this smells like green coming out the nozzle. I'm not putting it on my skin. It smells green coming out the nozzle. And when it goes on my skin, it dries down to fish. We're not doing it. We are not about to do that. I don't want anything aquatic or marine on my skin that does not read sexy to me. It doesn't read, oh, you smell good. You smell yummy. You smell edible. You smell like a snack. You smell desirable. You smell like that girl. This one right here, I don't get any of that from this. If you smell fishy on me, like I should have sailed this across the street. <laughs> That's what I should have did. But I kept it because the bottle is so gorgeous and it just fit in my Killian bar. But um, yeah, no, this one right here is just not. So roses on ice, she gotta go. Like you, you should have been gone. Like real talk, you should have been gone. Now, Let's take it to Hermes. So now we have Twilly de Hermes Eau Ginger. Y'all, I got this fragrance when it first came out because I was like, oh, it's a Twilly. It has a white cap. It's beautiful. It smells kind of like Twilly, but it smells more clean. Ooh, but y'all, it smells really good though. Wait, hold up. See, okay, let me spray this one on my skin because I just never wear it and I don't know why. Oh, okay, see, yeah. You almost had me, you almost had me. So here's the thing, out the nozzle, it smells really, really pretty. 
But then on my skin, it just does something a little bit... It's not bad. It's not bad. But it's not that good. Yeah, for me, it's the original Twilly. I love that fragrance. I will always have that fragrance. I know a lot of you don't like that fragrance, but I am obsessed with the original Twilly. I will always have it. But this one right here, like... The bottle is so cute. And I'm almost tempted to keep it because of the bottle, but... I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but I just don't wear it. So what's the point of you being in my collection, taking up space when I can have another Twilly, not another Twilly, but another Hermes fragrance to go in my Hermes section. So Twilly D Hermes O Ginger. Man. We gonna put her in the, uh, we gonna put her in the undecided section. Because I'm undecided about you. Don't feel bad, girl. All right. So this one right here. This is Mugler's Angel O Extraordinaire. I wore this fragrance. As you can see, there is a dent in this fragrance. But, and it's really pretty. I just feel like there's no need for it in my collection anymore. But it is a pretty scent. Let me... Child, I wasn't so... <sighs> yeah, I'm glad I did that. I don't need to have her. Yeah, really pretty fragrance, but I mean, I don't need her because I'm going to choose other fragrances in my collection to wear over this one. So, Angel, not Angel, Mugler's Alien O Extraordinaire. Really cute fragrance, but I never reach for it. Somebody else needs to get this one. But it is really pretty, though. Yeah, it's really pretty. Should I put her in the undecided? Y'all help me. Ugh. Let me put her in undecided. So we just have two in undecided, okay? But we have a whole lot in the they gotta go. All right? Now, this one right here, newer to my collection, Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. All the girls love this, okay? Everybody on Instagram, TikTok, you too, they all love this. They all feel like it's better than the original. It's okay. I'm going to stand out and be the oddball. Because for me, this one is a no. I'm sorry. It, it, this one, I'm going to have to layer with it to make it work. I don't want anything in my collection that I have to make it work. So this one right here, she has to go. I should have returned it, but I ended up throwing away the box and the packaging because y'all, I have a relationship with the garbage. You can ask Bay. I do not like junk, clutter, anything like that. So I was holding on to the box and I was just like, I can't. Like I need to get rid of this box. So I'm going to keep the fragrance. But yeah, no, I don't want to keep this fragrance. Somebody can have the fragrance that will love this and cherish it that feels like it smells better than the original like i said i'm gonna be the oddball and i'm okay with that i'm 100 fine being the outcast in this situation because for me i prefer the original donna born in roma over the intense so she gotta go ah <sighs> this one right here prada iris sea dream so this is from the like more higher end, I guess you can say, line of Prada fragrances. I love these bottles, y'all. I love all of them. Now, I kind of want to get the almond one. I think I want to get the almond one instead, but it kind of smells like this. They all kind of smell similar to me. This has a very heavy iris, very powdery, very bedtime type of scent. I got this fragrance in 2020 when i wanted to just have a lot of comforting scents for bed because i was in the house a lot so bedtime fragrances and in the house fragrances was my thing because i didn't want to smell too sexy in the house or too i didn't want anything that was going to remind me of a date night and being outside and having a life and everything being normal and i felt like a lot of the fragrances that i had in my collection at the time like baccarat and delina and all of them like they were making me want to go out. <laughs> they were making me want to like leave the house, get dressed, put something cute on. And 
I wanted fragrances that was just going to have me like in house mode and comforting, like Netflix and chill, you know, on the couch, in the living room type of scent. And that's why I got this fragrance. But now that, you know, thank God everything is open and I'm outside, your girl is outside, okay? I don't really have a need for this because my favorite bedtime fragrances are Juicy Couture, the Gold Couture, Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, um, Narciso Poudre. I mean, I don't need any more bedtime fragrances. Like, I'm good. So this one has to go. Although I love the bottle. It's so chic and so classy looking, but it just doesn't do anything for me anymore. So this is Prada Iris Cedri. Whew, I'm gonna save this one for last because when I show y'all this, y'all are going to be so surprised like super shocked so now we have pacifica silver moon it's a woody like sandal woody vanilla fragrance something that i purchased when i wanted to do an um, affordable video for you guys it's a vanilla fragrance it smells good i just don't need it like honestly like i i don't need it it didn't come with the cap this is how it comes it smells good but um <sighs> I don't need it. Another bedtime scent, another house scent. I mean, I'm good. So, Silver Moon, you gotta go. Now, we have one of these stilettos. Good girl. <laughs> the original good girl. Now, this fragrance, it's like up to here. This is where it is. You guys can't see it, but that's where it is. Now, it's a sexy scent. Like, I always ride hard for good girl. You know what I mean? Like, I love this fragrance. But I have the blush that I feel like is so pretty and so beautiful. I have the red one that I cannot remember the name of the red one. I just keep calling it the red shoe. But y'all know what I'm talking about. And I also have the good girl intense. So I don't need this one. I mean, like, honestly, I don't need this one. It's still a beautiful scent. I still will always ride for it. If you guys have it, I'm gonna be like, yeah, girl, that good girl is the truth. I just don't wear it. So yeah, this cute little stiletto, she gotta go. All right, y'all. So we have three more fragrances to talk about. And I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save you for the last. All right, so this one right here, I was sent this fragrance by Roja Parfums. And this is Roja Reckless. Now, I love the scent of Reckless. It kind of gives me the same vibe of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And this is the Essence. So it's a little bit more... Hmm. It's a little bit more light and airy. You know, like it's a really pretty scent. It's pretty. It's cute. But honestly, I don't wear it. I feel like I'm going to give it to my mother. I'm not going to sell this because this was given to me and I don't know, for some reason, like I'm not gonna try to make money off of something that was given to me. So I will give this to my mother, but she gotta go. But it's a very rich smelling, beautiful, fresh, lighter version of Love Don't Be Shy and also like the Reckless by Rosia. It's that orange blossom, Neroli type of fragrance. Um, it's really cute, I love it. The bottle is really sexy. But I don't wear it, and it's just taking up space. And I want another Kriegler, and this lived right here with the other Krieglers that I have. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of her so I can have space for the new Kriegler that's coming into my collection. So Roja Parfums Reckless Essence de Parfum. This one right here, I purchased this fragrance because for some reason this was hyped up. I think I heard Eva Monroe, maybe? I'm not sure. Somebody was talking about this fragrance a whole lot in 2020. And I was just like, I gotta get it. Vanilla Vibes, Juliet Has a Gun, I gotta get it. And I got it. Like, I ordered it blindly. And I was just like, hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It smells good. It's just not my style. It's very, very light. It wears very, 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 very close to the skin. Um, it just smells like you were on the beach all day and like your natural scents mixed with that coconutty scent of like coconut water. Like that's what this smells like to me. It's like vanilla and coconut water, very light, very airy, very close to the skin type of scent. Smells really good, but I just don't reach for it because I'm not a light 
airy, close to the skin scent type of gal. So this one just doesn't have a place in my collection anymore. But I think the bottle is cute. But yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> so if you're the type of person that loves a warm vanilla coconutty type of scent, but wears very, very close to your skin, then you'll love this. So Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. All right, y'all. So now we're on to the last one. Whew. When I tell you, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. Because when I show y'all this fragrance, I'm gonna just, listen, it is what it is, all right? All right, so let me just show y'all. Before I show y'all, let me tell y'all the story. So Bay and I were going out on a date night. I sprayed um, a fragrance Dubois fragrance on one hand and I sprayed this fragrance on the other hand. I didn't know which one I wanted to wear. And honestly, this fragrance, it kind of, it's been on the shelf for a while. Like it hasn't left the shelf for a long time, okay? Like I'm not gonna say how long, but it's been a long time since she's left the shelf. So I was like, you know, let me pull her out. But let me see what I want to wear. I'm not sure if I want to wear Fragrance Dubois or this fragrance. So I sprayed this, you know, the Fragrance Dubois, sprayed this fragrance, went to Bay. Bay, which one? What do you want to smell? Like, what do you want to smell on me? And when he smelled this one, he was like, and I was like, because he's loved this fragrance on me in the past. He was like, mm, wear this one. And it was the Fragrance Dubois that he chose. So I was like, that was all I needed. One, he's liked this fragrance on me in the past. Two, I haven't reached for it in a while. Three, the face that he made, it was like, oh, so she turned on you too? She gotta go. And the fragrance that I'm talking about, y'all, it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece, okay? This is by the master perfumer, Dominique Rupion. And this is Portrait of a Lady. Y'all, 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 y'all. I cannot believe that I'm getting rid of Portrait of a Lady. Like, honestly, this was one of my favorite fragrances at one point. But it's something about this fragrance that just doesn't agree with me anymore. My nose is changing. I guess I'm getting older. My body chemistry is changing. Everything is changing, all right? It is okay to change. And um, this just didn't change with me in the right way. So she gotta go. It is what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, y'all, I do have the body cream and I'm keeping that. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of that because I can layer with that. But this one is a spicy rose fragrance, but it's something about the spices and the roses that's just not agreeing with me. Oh, but it's, you know what it is about this fragrance? When I smell this, I smell masterpiece, period. I smell masterpiece, but I don't want it on me. That's the thing. I don't want it on me anymore, but I can pop the top, smell it and appreciate the beauty and the artistry that is this fragrance. But on my skin, it's just not, it's just not, it's just not, all right? I'm sorry, but I need another Frederick Maw fragrance in my collection because I feel like Frederick Maw fragrances are top tier, okay? They last forever on the skin, the performance, the sillage, everything. So I'm gonna find another one that works with my body chemistry but this one right here, it just doesn't do it for me anymore. This is the Spicy Rose Fragrance, the Spicy Rose Masterpiece Fragrance by Dominique Ropion, Portrait of a Lady, Frederick Maul, y'all. That's it. Like, oh, they looking at me like they about to jump me, y'all. Like, oof. Now, this one right here, I'm gonna hold on to this one. <laughs> and I'm gonna hold on to this one just to see, I'm gonna give them another week or so. And if I don't reach for them within the week, then they gotta go. But if I reach for them within a week, then I'm gonna keep them because they do smell really pretty. I probably just never gave them a chance. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going through something right now, y'all, because this is, this is kind of crazy. Like this, oof, 
y'all. But anyway, leave it in the comments below and let me know what fragrances do you like have in your collection that you don't wear that you wanted to declutter. And do you declutter fragrances? Like how is this? Because y'all, this is my first time ever doing anything like this. But it kind of feels freeing and liberating. But it feels sad too. Like it's sad. Like I'm, I'm a little sad. I'm sad. But I am excited to get new fragrances and have more room for new fragrances in my collection. So let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out. But I'll see you in my next video. Peace.